Okay, guys. Um, got a neat little shop tool, I guess you want to call it. These are... I find these blocks. And, you know, there's times you need to support something or, you know, put that up and uh, block something up. Slide this in front of a wheel as a wheel stop. Sometimes they get the cracking, and that's why I, I got this metal strapping. This is called plumber's tape. Uh, yeah, I, ba I bashed my thumb with my trusty hammer. What I was doing is I'd wrap it around, and I'd use the hammer to get it down tight. What I'm trying to do is keep this together, stop the crap cracks. Uh, and I painted this. I've had this in for a while. I use them in a lot of different things. I mean, you'll see on my drill press, I always have chunks of wood around to drill into. And you can see how well used they are. Um, yeah, that's the plumber's tape. And I cut it with um, um, aviation snips. And I used a one and a sixteenth or one and a eighth screws to hold this one together. And I have a bunch of these in different varieties, and there's different ways you could preserve these things. One of them is using wood, I mean using paint. Another method I'll show you here in a little bit is just soaking them down with a with oil. That'd be kind of, when you soak them down in oil, it's kind of like doing Cresso. If you ever seen the old telephone poles, they would soak a, a Cresso into uh, the oil, or oil into the wood to make it last a long time so it wouldn't rot. But um, these, I'll show you a bunch more that I got. I keep a whole selection for my different projects and that one needed work on. You see I find these bigger ones and like that one's been soaked to the oil. That one I painted 4x4, 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 2x4, 2x4, 4x4. And these are, you know, used in just different projects. These are great things to have around. Um, you know, you can put this up against a metal piece and bang on this to get it uh, to get a prod to get something in. Like once I uh, I used one of these to get a harmonic balancer on a 454, and uh, they come in handy for projects. But paint them up good and have different varying lengths uh, and sizes. And I keep mine under the eave of the shop here so the rain don't get on it. But that's how you uh, make uh, make these stuff, these uh, blocks and stuff up, and they'll they'll come in handy. You'll be surprised on whenever you use them and all. And just every now and then, just paint them. You know, I I get a ton of leftover paints and stuff, and that's why I paint them. I wanted I took paint that uh. I never used and I just painted all these with. I wanted them bright so I could see where they're at so they won't get lost in the yard. And I shouldn't have painted that green, so. But I need to stay away from black and other stuff, you know, colors like that because it would disappear in the yard. Black, brown, green. But a neat little idea, putting them little straps around it like that will, uh, Enhance the life of it, make it stay together for a longer time. But stuff like this really comes in handy. Good for using around shops and stuff like that. So, uh, thought I'd show you guys that. Short little video, a good video. Giving you guys some knowledge, like I always do. So, uh, you guys, please like and subscribe. I need all the help I can get. And, um... We, uh, we will see you on the next video.